So let's jump right into this, guys. I have been looking for a remedy to an issue that I ran into with how you bounce down audio out of Studio One Seven. There is a bunch of Reddit. Uh, there's a bunch of Reddit discussions out there of how there's like tons of different workarounds and all of this stuff. And so I dug into it as far as I possibly could. I have not seen this anywhere on YouTube, so I want to show you guys this. We're going to get right into it. So as you can see right here, we have uh, a chorus that I laid down here the other night with Coal Mine. You guys have heard that track already that's being played right now, at least the teaser version of it. And it's in mono, okay? And what we want to do is when we bounce down these files to send to a mix engineer, we want these files right here to stay in mono. But when you come up here to song export stems in the sources pane to the left, you could see that mono becomes stereo. So everything that you're bouncing down becomes stereo. And that's a problem because then the mix engineer has to take the files, upload them into the uh, new session, and then take the dual mono stereo files and reconvert them back into mono. Now, yes, it doesn't take that long, but there's a better way to do this, and I'm going to show you that right now. So I'm just going to pop this up real quick. This is a, a Reddit discussion. Mono tracks come out as stereo after bouncing. This guy says export song, then click on the box that says export to mono. Then this guy replies, I tried to look for that option. The closest thing I saw was export mix town, which is not what I'm trying to do. I just want all the amp sims printed to my DI. And for some reason, every track bounced down is in stereo. And this goes on and on and on and on. So I'm here to help you guys with your headache, if you have ran into this problem, which I'm sure you have since you're clicking on this video, you come up here to the left, click on song, export stems. We're going to put this in a new folder. Come over here. Let's just do a test folder. Test bounce. So we know where the files are at. And we're going to open that up. And we're just going to bounce down all these files right here real quick and then I'm going to show you what happens so let's just bounce these files down real quick I'll be right back so here's all the files right here let's pull these back up into a new session so Let's close this down real quick. We're not going to save anything. And we're going to take those new files and we're going to bring them in here. All right. And you'll notice that when I start expanding these tracks, they're all in stereo file. And again, that is a major issue. Now, you can come over here and you can click this, which then turns it to mono right here. But they still look stereo. It's not, it's not a clean setup. The engineer has to go through all of these files because every single one of them is a stereo file. And he has to either rebounce them down or he has to change them all to mono. These are not things that you want your mix engineer doing. So... Let's close this. We're not going to save it. And I cannot believe how simple it is, but I cannot believe how confusing it was in the beginning to even find this thing. After digging through tons of articles and tons of blogs, even YouTube didn't have it. But here it is. Go to Song, Export Stems. Over here where it says Options, you're going to click Keep Speaker Format. And I want you to pay attention to what happens here when you click keep speaker format. Now, mono goes into stereo, then it goes back in to mono. And all these tracks 
are now mono. So let's do the bounce down again real quick. Let's remove these tracks. Let's hit OK. Okay, now that that's done, let's close this down. Not going to save it. Let's open up a new session. 48K, 24-bit. Close files. Command-A on a Mac. Command-C. And actually, no. We're going to do just going to drag them over. All right. And now we should have all mono files. There is the tip, guys, that should help you out tremendously. If you found something interesting or you found this tip helpful, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and push it out for the algorithm to see it and for others to see it.